Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET how to create controls dynamically and bind records from database without adding any controls from the designing. And here we got the final results. The controls grid view and SQL data source added dynamically and bind data from database into grid view control without adding any controls in the designing page. See, there is no controls in the source page, everything in the code behind. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new ASP.NET project. Go to File, New, Project. From the web templates, I am selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework 4.6.1. The application name is Create Dynamically Controls Bind Data. Click OK. And from the templates, I'm selecting empty. Click OK. And the project is created successfully. Let's open Solution Explorer. Now, in this application, I'm adding a new web form page. Right click the project name, add web form. The web form name is controls and dynamically. Click OK and here we got the source page of the newly created controls add dynamically. Now my aim is I want to add a grid view control dynamically using code behind and I want to bind records using SQL data source. Right click the mouse, view code. Now in the page load event, first I'm adding a grid view control dynamically. Grid view, grid view one is the object name. New grid view. Now grid view one dot id is equals to grid view one. Now I'm adding this grid view control to this page. So this dot page dot controls dot add method. I'm adding grid view one. That's it. We have created the grid view control dynamically. Now let's add the SQL data source. SQL data source SQL data source is equals to new SQL data source I have created a new object for the SQL data source SQL data source 1 this I will make this object 1 dot id is equals to SQL data source 1 this dot page dot controls dot add I'm adding SQL data source 1 after that I'm adding the connection string to this dead SQL data source so SQL data source 1 dot connection string is a property so now we need the connection string so let's add the connection string in the web.config file in the server explorer let's add the database name in this data connections right click the data connections add connection the server name is after adding SQL server name I'm selecting the database name sample db Test connection is succeeded. Okay, okay. And here we got the sample db.db is added under data connections. 
we need the data source of the sample db right click the sample db dot dbo go to properties in the properties and the connection string copy the data source open solution explorer open web.config file in the configuration i'm adding connection strings add name is equals to my connection is the connection string name connection string i'm adding the connection string data source which i have provided a name system dot data dot sql client after adding the sql server connection string in the web.config file switch to the code behind system dot configuration dot configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I'm adding the connection string name this one my connection copy that one switch to the code behind let's add the my connection dot connection string after adding the connection string in the SQL data source now we need the select command SQL data source one dot select command is equals to the select command is just select statement select start from the table name I'm using the employee table dbo dot employee after adding the select statement let's bind the data into this grid view control grid view one dot data source is equals to i'm adding sql data source one which is the sql data source id dot grid view one dot data bind that's it now let's run this application we'll see the output what we'll get google chrome And here we got the output with an error. This control grid view one of type grid view must be placed inside a form tag with run at is equals to server. The reason when we run this application, the browser thoughts the controls are not placed in the form tag because we are creating the controls dynamically. To fix this error, we need to override the method called verify rendering in server form method. Let's add that method. After the page load, public override void verify a rendering in server from control. Let's delete this code base dot verify rendering in server from control. We don't require. That's it. Now let's check the output. Google Chrome. And here we got the final results. The controls grid view and SQL data source added dynamically and bind data from database into grid view control without adding any controls in the designing page. See? There is no controls in the source page, everything in the code behind, that's it.